Hello, I'm Cybex author and Stormwind instructor William Panic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert a Windows Server 2012 R2 GUI server into a server core version. Now, on this server, we're going to have Active Directory and DNS already loaded onto the GUI server. Then we're going to go ahead and convert this to a server core version. This way, all of your configurations are already done. Now, server core is a Microsoft version that has a smaller attack surface. For example, when we boot into Windows Server 2012 R2, we have our GUI version, our Microsoft Management Console Windows. You can go into Active Directory, MMC, you can go into the DNS console, and we can actually move around the operating system while using a mouse and using commands. In Server Core, when you actually log into the system, there are no GUI windows. We don't even need a mouse. When you actually log in, you actually boot in to the system and it actually logs in just to a command prompt. And all of your configuration needs to be done by using command line utilities or PowerShell commands. So let's go ahead and let's jump out onto our server that we're running. And again, we are running Windows Server 2012 R2. And on this server, I want to show that we currently have DNS already installed and we currently have Active Directory already installed. Now, we're going to go to the administrator account. And on our administrator account, we have our account here. We also have an account by the name of Will Panic. So I'm going to double click on the Will Panic account. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make sure that the logon is will.panic. And I'm going to actually also, let me go ahead and set that the password doesn't expire. Okay, good. Let me reset my password here just to make sure that I remember what password we set on this test system. We're going to make sure that the Will Panic is an administrator. So it's a domain admin. Perfect. So we'll log on after we do the conversion. We'll log on using the Will Panic account. So here you can see we have Active Directory and we have DNS already set up and already configured. We have our forward lookup zone. We actually have the Will Panic dot com domain it's already set up it's already set if I go to the properties to allow for secure only dynamic updates and it's an active directory integrated box alright so this machine is now ready to go and we're now gonna turn this box into a server core version to do this we're gonna run a PowerShell command so I'm gonna click on PowerShell and when it comes into the administrator, I'm going to go ahead and type in the following command. I'm going to type uninstall. Dash. Windows. Feature. Space. Server. Dash. GUI dash m g m t for the management dash i n f r a comma server gui shell dash restart so this command uninstall dash windows feature space server dash gui dash management mgmt dash i n f r a comma server dash gui dash shell and then restart and i'm going to go ahead 
and I'm going to hit enter and it's going to go through and it's going to start collecting data and it's going to gather all of its information then the machine is going to go ahead and it's going to automatically reboot once it's done and it will reboot into a server core version of Windows Server 2012 R2. While it's doing this, let me explain the reason why we like to use server core instead of using a full version is because we want to make sure that we have a less attack space. They call it a less attack surface. So that if people try to hack into this box, they have to know not only how to hack into the box, but they also have to know how to move around and do everything while they're in a server core version, which is not the easiest way to do things. So this is a great way that you can set your system up for a location that might not be 100% secure. A good example I always give when I teach in our classes uh, for Stormwind is I used to be a programmer many, many years ago and I used to program hospital computer systems. And one of the things that I did is I used to work with a lot of corresponding doctor's offices around the hospital. Now, a lot of doctors have offices near a hospital, they're part of the hospital, they do surgeries at the hospital, they register patients and they do billing through the hospital, but they actually have their own office. Now a lot of doctors offices don't have secure server rooms. This would be a perfect example of when you might want to set up and use a server core version of Windows Server 2012 and Active Directory. This way, if someone is able to hack into the system, unless they know how to move around and unless they know how to configure or change things through actually using a command line utility or PowerShell, they're not going to be able to do anything. So Server Core is a very useful tool to use in an area that might be less secure. If you have an environment where security is an issue, Server Core is a great way to go. Now, Server Core has been out since Windows Server 2008. And a lot of people are nervous about using Server Core because it's very hard to configure and very hard to set up. You also, as an IT person, need to know how to run all of the different commands to set up a Server Core box. Well, with the release of Windows Server 2012, you can now install the server as a GUI version. You can load what you need on the server core. For example, Active Directory, and you can load DNS, you can load DHCP, you can load Hyper-V. You can do these things in a GUI version and then convert the box to a server core version and all of those configurations will be set and will stay on that server core box. One other thing you should know is you have the ability, and I'll post the command for you actually uh, with the comments for the YouTube channel. I will post it. You can also turn a server core version into a GUI version. So if you need to, you could go back and forth between server core and having a full GUI version of Windows Server 2012 R2. So I'll post both these commands inside the actual description for my YouTube channel so this way you can actually see how it's done and then in case you are not able to see the commands properly you'll know which commands to hit so that you can do the conversion. So as you can see we are at 91 percent of the Windows removal and what it's doing right now is it's actually removing the actual GUI shell. Now this box, I had already loaded Active Directory onto it and I had already created multiple accounts. So now the box is resetting. So right now the box is in the middle of a reboot.
Now, I'm actually running this in a Hyper-V environment. So as you can see now, it's updating the system. It's still in the process of doing the conversion. So the system has been completely updated. We're at 100%. And now, when we get to our login screen, we should now be running a full version of Windows Server 2012 Server Core. Now the features that were currently on the Windows Server 2012 R2 GUI version are also all going to be converted over to the Server Core version. Now Server Core doesn't run every single feature that the GUI version runs. But it runs the major features that you're most likely going to want to run. For example, Server Core will work with Active Directory, DNS, DHCP, Hyper-V. So you can run a Server Core version to run a server that has some of the main network services on board. But not all features will be compatible on a server core system. So at this point, it's converting over the features that we had on the GUI system and it's converting them over to the server core version. And there it is. So at this point, we can go ahead and we can log in to our system. Now I'm going to go ahead and it's actually set up as the administrator account. We can log in as the administrator also. So I'll log in as the administrator. And there it is. We went from a Windows Server 2012 R2 GUI version running Active Directory and DNS to a server core version that still is running Active Directory and DNS. And we did it by using one command line utility in PowerShell. I am Stormwind instructor and Cybex author William Panic. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to change a Windows Server 2012 R2 GUI version into a server core version. Please make sure you follow all of my videos at www.youtube.com slash C slash William Panic. And I look forward to seeing you in one of my classes very soon. Have a great day.